What's going on with East Ramapo Public Schools? Why are these guys in charge of these kids' education? Are they doing a good job? Well, let's have a look at their report card. I see a lot of red X's. That can't be good. Maybe it's the budget. Well, in East Ramapo, public schools serve mostly people of color. Blacks, Latinos, Haitians, and Asians. Spending for those public school students is only about 62% of total expenses. The rest goes to the services for private religious schools, mainly yeshivas. New York State has cited East Ramapo for inappropriately spending public dollars on yeshiva tuition. The impact on public schools includes larger class sizes for elementary students and fewer options in middle and high school. We've lost all the art teachers for our elementary students, all the music teachers for our elementary students, and some high school students spend half their day in study hall or lunch because there just aren't enough teachers for all the classes. Private school services, including transportation, textbooks, software, library, special education, professional development, curriculum assistance, after-school programs, and support services, have not been cut. There's been a shift in priorities. The school district administration has increasingly focused on addressing the demands of the ultra-Orthodox yeshivas, the primary goal of which is teaching and promoting their religion. The ultra-Orthodox voters continue to vote down school budgets. They know any cuts will not affect the services to yeshivas, only public schools. Maybe it's the state and federal aid. Does East Ramapo get less state and federal aid than other districts? They do not. The red line is East Ramapo. Much more state and federal aid than our neighbors in neighboring Ramapo Central School District. Maybe the voters in East Trample simply don't come out to vote. No again. That large blue bar on the left-hand side, those are the East Trample voters. At least double any other school district in Rockland County. Despite the large number of non-citizens who cannot participate in school votes, East Trample still outvotes the rest of Rockland County. So why haven't elections worked? Well, the yeshiva users can vote, even if they don't pay property tax or use the public schools. Ultra-Orthodox Jews vote as a block. Like many other aspects of their lives, voting is subject to a complex system of social control. Many public school parents are new immigrants and therefore excluded from voting, even if they pay property tax and have children in the public schools. Over the last five years, thousands of protesters have come out, taken advantage of their civil right to express themselves, teachers, parents, students, activists, coming out, but not heard. So what shall we do? Well, the school board members, they're being elected without the consultation of the parents who use the schools. And there's a conflict of interest, which is inevitable when public funds are controlled by people elected by a block vote. The non-public community has nothing to lose by defeating school budgets, but public schools need resources to meet New York State learning standards. The current imbalance between public and non-public school students is a threat to public education. New York State must intervene to protect the civil rights of the children of East Ramapo. If not now, when?